Hey guys, I'm here and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Jaime and I own a digital marketing agency helping e-commerce clients scale to seven and eight figures using Facebook ads. That is really my passion, building brands online. I started my agency around two years ago and I managed to scale it to six figures in just nine months. But that is enough about me. What I want to do in this video is share with you guys what social media marketing agency is. Yes, this video is for complete beginners, but if you already have a few clients under your belt for your agency, this video is still going to be of massive value. I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few nuggets that I've personally found incredibly valuable to really understand the business model and to make the business model work for you. So really excited for this video because I know a lot of you are seeing this social media marketing agency thing. You're wondering what is this thing? Uh, you know, you might be thinking I want to get into this, but you don't really know what it is uh, and how to make it work so this video is going to be for you really excited for this and so without further ado let's get right into it what is social media marketing agency let's get started so in this presentation i will cover everything you need to know about the business model why it works so well and how you can make money with it Pretty much the three pillars that you need to understand because look, if you don't understand the business model and why we're doing what we're doing, then it's going to be very hard for you to make money with it. So social media marketing agency, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down by words. Okay. That is really the easiest way to understand uh, what social media marketing agency is. So I'm going to break it down by words. First, I'm going to talk about marketing. Then the next thing we're going to talk about is agency. And the final thing is social media and how they actually come together very nicely to make what we know of as social media marketing agency. So first things first is the marketing, right? So we need to understand that we are a service based business, right? We are providing service for a fee in return. So for example, when a business is helped with their accounting, they go to an accounting firm. When a business is helped with their legal stuff, right? They go to a law firm. When a business is helped with their marketing, they go to a marketing agency. Now, B2B, we operate in the business to business space where cost of goods sold tend to be higher due to the impact a service can have on a business, right? And that's one of the things that I want you guys to keep in mind. The reason why we can charge quite a, a high amount uh, for our services is because we are in the B2B space and the value that we can actually provide to a business could be massive, right? Let's just say that you help them with your marketing, you help them increase their customers by 10%. That could literally mean tens of thousands of dollars every single month. So that is the second thing that I want you guys to keep in mind. The next thing is investment. We are not an expense, but an investment. We operate to make them money. Our service is actually revenue driven, unlike most other services. Look, when a, uh, a business pays for their staff or pays for rent or pays for gas, electricity, all this stuff, technically they need to keep running their business, right? In my case, for example, I have softwares, I have a staff in my team, I have other expenses, I have electricity, I have rent, etc., etc. All this stuff, it's necessary for me to continue doing business as usual, right? Uh, but it's not really gonna make me much money, except for obviously my staff, my, my team members are the best out there. So they're definitely gonna make me money because they're gonna help the business grow. So there's no doubt about that. Um, but unlike other services, we are there to make the money. We are there to re generate revenue uh, for them. And if we don't generate uh, revenue as a marketing agency, they're probably not gonna be very happy, right? And so that is the third thing. And the final thing is we're solving their number one biggest problem. Having their marketing take care of solves their number one biggest problem, which is bringing new leads and customers predictably. When you solve large challenges, you get large compensations. Guys, we're not doing anything shady here in, in social media marketing agency. I feel like it gets viewed sometimes like kind of like this underground community, but really we're not doing witchcraft or anything like that, right? We are just providing an incredibly valuable service to businesses, right? And in return, we are getting a fee for that, right? And obviously if we solve a large challenge, we get large compensations. That is why when my team and I, uh, Mogul C, when we come into one of our clients ecosystem, right? And we help them grow their business online, that, that's a big challenge, right? That, that they had previously, which was they couldn't grow their business online. When we help them do that and generate hundreds of, of thousands of dollars every single month, obviously we're solving a large challenge for them. And in, in return, we get a large compensation. And that's really the first word to social media marketing agency. Now that's covered. The next thing is agency. So before I get into it, uh, drop a big thumbs up. YouTube just loves it when that, that thing turns blue. And if you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to social media marketing agency. So go ahead and subscribe, drop a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And also hit the little bell icon. Really appreciate it, but let's come back to the video. Now, agency. 
A very basic definition is a business organization providing a particular service on behalf of another business. And that's really what we do as an agency. I feel like a lot of people don't understand the, the, the concept of an agency because a lot of freelancers or contractors out there call themselves an agency. But if you're just one person and you are operating as a solopreneur, you are not an agency. An agency is at least more than one person because we're going to have a contractor take care of our service delivery, but it's still more than one person, right? So there's you and then there's the, the person that actually delivers the service, at least when you start. And that's really the basic structure that you want to have when you start your agency. The next thing is employee versus agency. So this is something that I've seen a lot of people kind of question is the fact that why not just hire you know an employee? Why not just hire, why not just go ahead and hire a marketing director or a marketing manager? Why hire an external agency? And so you need to understand that employees tend to carry with them health benefits, insurance, taxes, et cetera, et cetera that the employee obviously has to account for. So that tends to be a higher cost to the employer. Also, they get paid whether they're being productive or not. They often require training and they take up real estate. So they, they take up space in the office. I uh, usually they'll, they'll get a laptop and, and a bunch of other perks. So that is what I, what I want you guys to understand. And that, that's really the difference between an employee and an agency. The fact that an, an agency, they get one plus expert. So they get you, your contractor. And if you expand a bunch of other people in your team, right? So for example, maybe a copywriter, uh, that helps you write copy for the clients for the price of pretty much one single employee they get this whole team not only that but they aren't tied to a long-term contract and we bring with us a lot of expertise from having worked with other clients now this won't be the case when you're just starting out probably uh, but when you're in the game for 8 10 12 months you will realize that you have seen so many different case studies you've come across so many different problems come across so many different scenarios and you've approached the scenarios and you have faced these challenges you've solved these problems and now you're so much stronger because you've seen all these problems and all these cases right and when a business comes to you, you've probably seen the bottleneck that they are experiencing. You've probably seen the problem that they are going through right now. And then you can help them solve it so much easier, right? The, the problem with an employee, and obviously an employee has a ton of pros as well. Uh, so don't get me wrong, but the problem with an employee is, sure, they might know a lot about that company that they're working at. They might have that insider advantage. But when it comes to understanding the, the whole landscape and really being agile to whatever challenge uh, could come up in their marketing strategy, they're not going to be as agile as an agency that's pretty much been through it all and seen, and seen pretty much everything that they could see and, and come across pretty much every single challenge that they could face, right? And so that's really um, the value of an agency and what I call agency bliss. And the final thing is social media, which is a pretty important component of uh, the whole concept. So first things first is you need to understand that traditional media is pretty much dead, especially for most medium sized and, and small to medium sized businesses. The reason why that, that is because the CPMs, the cost per 1000 impressions, how much it costs us to get in front of 1000 people are extremely high and the returns aren't clear. And we can see it in this diagram by uh, Life Marketing. Uh, we can see that, you know, direct mail, broadcast TV, magazine, newspaper, all these, uh, you know, radio, billboards, all these avenues have a much higher CPM than social media, right? And so when you tell a business owner, would you rather these marketing avenues that cost you a lot more and you can't see any clear returns because there's not really a good way to track it, or would you rather spend your money on social media where there's a very uh, tangible return? I'll be showing you guys that in just a second. Uh, and also it's going to cost you less. They're probably going to pick social media, right? And so that is why, you know, this, this service is in huge demand right now. And this is where a lot of people go wrong in, the, in their thinking. Most businesses, the vast, vast majority of businesses aren't even implementing this stuff right now. So that's the first thing that I want you guys to, to understand. The second thing, uh, and I spoke about, about this uh, very briefly just now, but the returns are so clear, right? It's very easy to convey our value to the client because they can clearly see how much they've spent and how much we've made them. Here's a little example, not my account, by the way, it's just a screenshot. We can clearly see here how much we've made them. So, you know, the website purchase conversion right there. Uh, so that, you know, right there it says 40K. And then we can clearly see what the website purchase row as the return on the ad spend, how much you're spending on the advertising, what that what that is, right? So right here is a 4.78, which is pretty good, by the way. And so you can see how clear it's going to be for the business owner when they just pop, in, pop into uh, ad manager. Hopefully you have uh, just much better reporting sheets than ad manager, uh, but I digress. They can just pop into the ad manager and they can see very clearly how much you have spent that month, which by the way, doesn't show in the screenshot, how much you've spent how much you've made them back and what that means in terms of return on investment okay so the the returns are so clear right and your value is so clear which makes it very hard for a client to drop you if you're generating them uh incredible returns and if you're making the money and number two is very easy to convey your value and to price your services because you can clearly tell them this is the potential for revenue right here so 
that is the second thing. And the final thing that I want to talk about is fear of missing out. And this is a big one. And, and, and it's, it's something that I don't see anyone talking about, uh, which is the fact that social media is where the eyeballs are, right? E-commerce owners, which is the e-commerce niche, and it's really the niche that I personally recommend uh, people get into, especially right now, especially with the current uh, social landscape. Um, e-commerce owners are constantly seeing multi-million dollar brands being built on the back of social media marketing pretty much alone on the, on the back of just social media marketing, uh, really good Facebook ads, really good uh, affiliate marketing, really good uh, creatives, you know, really good brand ambassadors, et cetera, et cetera. They already know they need the service. So you don't have to do any of, uh, pretty much, you don't have to do any of the heavy lifting. The, you know, the, the phone one, the, the fear of missing out has done most of the, the heavy lifting for you. And so all that's left is for them to know we are the right ones to offer it. We are the right ones, the, the ones that are gonna make their ad spend work for them uh, and generate them a 2X, uh, 3X, a 4X return on investment, right? And I've, I've just included some, some examples here of brands that have absolutely killed it with digital marketing. And trust me when I say this, if they're, for example, in the beauty space, they will know Kylie Cosmetics or Drunk Elephant. If they are in the wellness space, um, they will know High Smack, they will know uh, Snow uh, Teeth Whitening, they will know a bunch of other brands, right? Uh, if they're in the fitness space, they will absolutely know Gymshark, right? And all these brands, they've built incredible empires and they're constantly seeing these, these brands you know, get ha, have this social media marketing thing uh, spot on and they are slacking and, and they're lagging behind. And so they want to have this in place. All that they need to know is that we are the right ones that are really going to make this work for them. So that is that for this presentation. I hope you guys found this of value. Hope you could take away some nuggets from this uh, presentation. And hopefully now it's much more clear what social media marketing agency is and how you can make money uh, off it. And just the insane potential that there is with it. If you enjoyed this video, as always, drop a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also, leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on this video or social media marketing agency in general. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to SMME with a specific focus on sales and outreach. And the final thing, guys, if you're interested and want to get a bit more information, I actually have a free training on how to sign and keep four-figure retainer clients for your social media marketing agency. There's nothing for sale. There's not a big paywall at the end. And honestly, the, the, the feedback that I've been getting on this free training out of this world, people literally implementing the stuff that are covered in this free, uh, free training and signing clients. So yeah, if you are interested in that, go ahead and check it out in the description. And as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.